All right, so jumping into knowing some vocabulary. Um, there's just, I think we have seven vocabulary words I'm gonna teach you and then we're pretty much at an end. Uh, textile, okay, so textile pattern. So basically this is about the confusion on the word pattern in the industry. So um, what is a pattern? If I ask you if you have a pattern, what I'm talking about is this picture on the right side, which is a garment pattern. Uh, lots of people are going to ask you about patterns, and um, they're not talking about the picture on the left side, which is like a print, right, or a textile pattern. Um, they're talking about the shapes of the garment. So a garment pattern is, you know, the shapes of the panels that need to be cut out to create your garment. So this is a, looks like a picture of like a Henley pattern with a pocket. Um, on the left side, we've got the textile pattern. So you know, just make sure you're clarifying what type of pattern you're talking about when you're talking to people in the industry. This is a, you know, a design that's visually applied to the fabric surface or woven in, but it's you know, giving that, I think most people not in the industry refer to that as the pattern. Um, we usually refer to it as a textile pattern or a print. Okay, a couple more words. Uh, textile print. There's two different ways to get print in your fabric. You can print the pattern to the surface of the fabric. So as you can imagine, these items on the left-hand side are, um, if you turn the fabric over and look on the back side, there's nothing on it, right? It, or it's more white, right? So these are this is a print, printed pattern. It is applied to the surface of the fabric. On this right-hand side, these are what are called yarn dye patterns. So the yarns, so let's just talk about this top one here. The yarns that were made, used to make this fabric were dyed white and various colors of purple. And then those yarns were woven together to make that print or that stripe, right? So that's called a yarn dye pattern. So those are, those are two different ways you can get uh, prints. A uh, few more words. Um, piece dye fabric. That's a really good one to know when you're talking to um, anyone in the industry. So piece dye fabric is probably the, it is the most common way fabric is colored, right? So you're, at some point you're going to want different colors of fabric. You might want white, black, red, blue you know, whatever. And so you're going to need to kind of get an understanding of the different ways you can get different colors of fabric so you know um, what they're talking about when people are giving you options. So piece dye fabric. That would be all the fabric is knitted in white or woven in white um, or grayish goods also known as and then they're dyed. So let's say we uh, we weave 2,000 yards of white and then you want four colors, so we're gonna take 500 yards and dye it yellow, and 500 yards and dye it blue, and 500 yards and dye it red, and so on. So that is what you call piece dye fabric. Another way would be yarn dye. I kind of described that earlier with the prints, um, but that's the way you get colored fabric is you, instead of, instead of weaving everything together in white, you actually dye the fibers before you weave them together or knit them together. So that is called yarn dye. And then a third way to get different colored garments is garment dye finish. So if you can imagine these shirts on the right hand side are made in white. And then, so let's say we make all the t-shirts in white, thousands of t-shirts in white, and then we take the actual t-shirts and we go and dye them in different colors. So that is another way to get you know, different colored garments. Uh, okay, that, that's the end. I hope I crammed enough information um, out there for you. So please, you know, uh, visit our website for free, re free resources. Ask for a free consultation. You can contact us. Um, we're very happy to talk to you, answer any questions, and, um, you know, help you on your path. Hey, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Check out our website if you need help with your clothing line, clothierdesignsource.com.